This guy shows you a great little replacement for Windows Movie Maker for Windows 7, which at the moment you can still use um, on Windows 10. Uh, that's as of 2020, but who knows, in the future, Microsoft might write an update for Windows 10 that might actually inadvertently stop it from working. So, um, this is from a company called Minitool, who are basically famous for, really, for doing um, partitioning tools. They do a free mini wizard partition tool. Um, so, but they've branched out into other areas and uh, they've also now done a movie maker. Like I say, it's not a, uh, a real professional tool, but um, it's good enough for the majority of people. It's not too overkill. So anyway, so to download it, all we do is we open up our browser. I'm gonna open up Google Chrome. That's my browser of choice. Okay, and once it's opened, we go to the bar at the top of the screen. If there's anything in there, then uh, delete it out. And we type in there, movie maker dot mini tool dot com okay then press enter or return on your keyboard okay once it's loaded then we move our mouse over download now and left click once as you can see at the bottom of the screen it's got mmm dash setup so all I need to do now is click on that, or if it hasn't done that, if it's asked us to save it in a certain place, then generally it will be in our downloads folder. And if you want to find the downloads folder, just click the little yellow folder at the bottom of the screen. If you haven't got a yellow folder at the bottom of the screen, click on the start button and click on the folder just there, the documents folder. Okay, and then once that opens up, then click on downloads from the left here or here. And there we go, we've got MMM set up, so I just double click on that. It then says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Minitool Movie Maker Setup and the verified publisher is Minitool Software Limited, then you're okay to left click yes. Okay, so on the screen now, we've got Minitool Movie Maker Install Now. So move your mouse over Install Now and left click once. And here we go, this bit might take a bit of time depending on the speed of your internet connection because it's now actually downloading the main guts of the program. What it had done originally was it just downloaded the setup file which was quite quick. Now it's downloading the main bulk of the program. So like I say, this bit might take a little time so just be patient with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it when it's nearing the end of the download. Okay, so it's nearing the end of the download, only a couple of seconds to go for me. And there you go, it says, please wait a moment. Now it will be installing the program, which again, depending on the speed of your computer, this bit might take a little while. So what I'm gonna do is once again, I'm gonna uh, pause the video and we'll come back to it when it's near the end of the installation. Okay, so it's nearing the end of the installation, hopefully only a couple of seconds to go. Um, only 3% left, oh there we go, 100%. And it's now come up on mine, how do you want to open this file? I mean, it might not come up on, on yours, but uh, let's select Google Chrome if we've got it. You can select anything here, really, any internet browser. I'm just gonna move my mouse over Start now and left click once. Okay, and Google Chrome has opened and there's a, a little quite helpful user guide by the looks of it here. So well worth a, uh, a look through. I'm just gonna close this down for the moment by click clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen. And Mini Tool Movie Maker 2 is now loading. And there we go, it's now loaded. And as you can see, you've actually got some templates here that you could start with if you want to. But if you don't want to use one of the templates that uh, is provided, then you can always click on the cross just up there and start from scratch. So here you can import your media files in there. So just as an example, I'll click on import media file and let's import a couple of videos. So I've just gone to videos. So let's import this one here and we'll import another one here. And uh, what we can do is we can drag these down to the, uh, the boxes at the bottom of the screen there. Um, let's just, 
Oh, let's just drag this one down to there. Two videos there merged together. Um, if we want to, we can put transitions in. So uh, here, quite a few transitions we can use. So let's just pop a transition in the middle there. And uh, we can obviously put text on the video as well if we want to. There we go, the previews of the captions have come up. Also some titles as well there. So if we want to, we can, uh, we can pop a title in as well. Just there, just at the start, a title there. Um, we can edit that title if we want to. Or, or the caption so yeah I'm just going to click into there and there we go oh this is a text can type that in there and uh, if we want to uh, like I say we can put certain effects on the video as well these have loaded up now on there transitions as you can see Let's put a transition in just there. And when we're done, when we've uh, made our video, we can then export it. So we can click export just up there. Uh, we can give the movie a name. We can select the format that we want to save it in. Um, we can select where we want to save it to. It saves it uh, by default in the documents folder and in a sub folder called Mini Tool Movie Maker and then in the subfolder called Output. Um, we can also select the resolution as well. So we've got different preset qualities there, best, better or good. Um, this alters the bit rate, but if you want to alter the resolution as well, you can alter the resolution. You can also alter the encoder, however, on there it only shows libx264 um, you can manually alter the bitrate if you'd rather as well or like i say you can use one of the defaults at the top there so there you go a great little tool called mini tool movie maker which is available absolutely free from the website shown at the start of this video hope this guide helps and i hope this is a good replacement for you for windows 7 movie maker Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.